Hello and welcome to Gadgetry 60. Today I have with me the iQOO Z5. The iQOO Z5 is the successor to the iQOO Z3 which was launched 6 months ago. The iQOO Z5 builds on the shortcomings of the Z3 by offering stereo speakers, a slightly bigger battery and the Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G processor which has launched on a couple of smartphones in the past few months. With upgraded performance comes a new design. So let's unbox this phone and take a look at what's inside. But before I do that, I would recommend you head to the Gadgetry 60 YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you stay notified whenever we upload a new video. This is the iQOO Z5 and uh, this is the 12GB RAM and 256GB storage variant in the Mystic Space finish. So let's take a look at what's inside. Here is the box. In this there is the warranty and information or the documents. There is the TPU case. As you can see there's a large cutout for the camera over here. Keep that aside. Here is the phone. We'll come back with that later. This is the charging cable that comes with the phone. The SIM ejector tool. And this is the 44 watt charger. It comes in the box. So let's put all of this aside and take a look at the phone. Take out the wrapper and let's take a look at this phone. The back is made out of polycarbonate or plastic, and the top part over here you can see has a large cutout for the camera. It has this nice matte finish, but it also makes a little sound away when you scratch over it. Frame is made out of plastic, thin frame that runs all through the phone. At the top here is the 3.5 mm jack, and over here there's a fingerprint reader that's embedded in the power button on the right side itself and above it sits the volume locker. The SIM card tray sits at the bottom. Let me just pull it out and let's have a look at the setup. As you can see, it's a simple SIM card tray, no hybrid stuff happening over here. One SIM card on the one side and one other on the other side. So there's no room for storage expansion on this phone. Also another upgrade of the phone is the dual speaker setup. There's one speaker at the bottom and another speaker at the top here, which doubles up as the earpiece. So let's just set up the phone. And now that I've set up the device, let's take a closer look at the mystic space finish of the iQOO Z5. The iQOO Z5 is available in two finishes. There's the mystic space finish which we received for review and there's also Arctic Dawn. The color options of the back panel are not as eye-catching as on the iQOO Z3 but come with the matte finish which is also present on the iQOO Z3. The frame and the back panel are made of plastic. The power and volume button sit on the right side. The phone features stereo speakers with the earpiece doubling up as the second speaker. The LCD display features a 120Hz refresh rate and has grown to 6.67 inches. The touch something rate has been upgraded to 240Hz, which should be good for gaming. The bezels around the display are also quite thin. Moving to core hardware, the iQOO Z5 offers a Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G processor inside. The phone is available in 8GB and 12GB RAM variants with 128GB and 256GB of storage. They are priced at 23,990 and 26,990 respectively. The camera setup remains unchanged compared to the iQOO Z3. There's a 64 megapixel primary camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, and a 2 megapixel micro camera. Selfie duties are handled by a 16 megapixel camera. While the battery has increased in capacity to 5000 milliamp hours, charging speeds have dropped to 44 watts. OneTouch OS 12 runs the show on the iQOO Z5 with Android 11 as the base. The software felt quite fluid during my initial use, but I noticed plenty of third party apps that came pre installed. After unboxing the phone, it's clear that the iQOO Z5 is an upgrade to the iQOO Z3. But are those upgrades worth the higher price tag? We will find out in our full review. So that is our quick unboxing and your first look at the iQOO Z5. What do you think about this device? Let us know in the comment section below. And as always for all things tech, stay tuned to Gadgetry60.com.